cats can do a lot more than we often give them credit for. It's not too often that you see someone skiing with a cat. My name is James Eastham, and I'm Gary's social media manager. It was around Christmas about four years ago now. There was a big storm. We got snowed into our house, and so Gary was still wanted to go outside, and we decided to take him out. I was on my touring skis, and as we were coming home past a small little slope, I thought, when would I get the chance to ski with my cat again? So we did a couple of small laps on that. I threw up a post on social media and made some jokes about cat skiing and figured that would be the end of it. But the next year, Nikiska was looking for social media partners. I used to work at the resort as a ski patroller, so I threw my name in the hat, and uh, the rest is sort of documented all on our Instagram. Ski days with Gary are pretty relaxed. There's nothing too crazy that we get up to, but just do a few runs, get them out, sniff in the breeze, and he has a blast. People think it's it's pretty cute, even if they don't know who Gary is. And I've seen like all of your TikToks. They come and they say hi and they look at me scratch or I get a photo. It's challenging to do a lot of skiing <laughs> when we're out together because we do get stopped so much. We've got just over 480,000 followers on Instagram, slightly over 500,000 followers on TikTok, and somewhere around 150,000 followers on Facebook. It's not what I ever imagined uh, my life would be like. What do you think? I didn't expect Gary's accounts to take off this way, but I think it's nice to be able to make people smile. I wouldn't be skiing with Gary if I wasn't completely confident that I wasn't going to be crashing. I used to be a professional ski patroller and we stay on pretty easy runs at pretty quiet times at the resort and I ski fairly slowly and carefully. So skiing with Gary is not your typical day at the hill. You're not going out charging hard. It's just a couple of runs to get him out. My biggest advice if you're looking to get out uh, with your cat on a leash is just start really slowly and have a lot of patience. We didn't start skiing right away, so don't just stuff Fluffy in a backpack and hit the slopes. I don't recommend that most cats should probably ski, but you can even start getting them used to the harness inside and then we slowly transitioned outside. We would sit on the front step together. Slowly, as he got comfortable, we would explore the yard. And then there's a little park down the street from our house. We would go there and uh, worked up to what you see now. I went on a backcountry ski trip earlier this year and I came home and brought the skis in and the pack and Gary just kind of looked up at it and looked up at me and uh, it was quite the black look. <laughs> he seemed a little bit betrayed that I would head out without him. It's Gary, isn't it? It's Gary. I never really expected to stumble into having an internet famous cat. It's just nice to be outside spending time with Gary, so we're going to keep doing the, the same things that we've been doing for a while, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it takes us. Mm -hmm.